I test a lot of modifiers. I own, use and have rented lots of different ones, so I'm not limited by choice when it comes to shaping light to change the emotion in an image. But what would be my choice of modifier for beauty, fashion and portrait work if I only had around 50 or 100 pounds to spend? Modifiers are everything in studio lighting. Once you understand light and its properties, how it works, how it travels and how it spreads, or how it reflects, then as a photographer, you will soon come to realize how important it is to control light. And I guess control is the wrong word. I don't really control light. I guide its path would be more appropriate. Knowing how to guide its path is an essential role of a professional photographer. It's what allows you to create narrative, emotion and mood in an image or execute a brief based on specific criteria from a client or shoot portraits or fashion that have a feeling dictated by the lighting that helps tell the story. Some of these modifiers are monstrous contraptions and some of them are very precise technical tools to guide light to a very specific point. And others funnel light in a particular way that gives the resulting images a particular look. But a lot of these tools are very expensive to the photographer who is mostly taking pictures as a hobby. And it's fair to say that considerable gear envy comes up in forums and conversations about lighting. One of the most common questions I get asked is if you could only choose one modifier, what would it be? And my common answer is that for most of my product work, I'm actually using my own homemade modifiers called scrims. But if it was for beauty or fashion work, then it would have to be the Para 133 because it's a very versatile tool giving me hard light, soft light and great three dimensionality. But unfortunately, that modifier without a light costs around $3,000. So the next question is, which modifier would I choose for a few hundred dollars? And my answer to that would be the Octobox 150, which I think gives great results in a variety of situations from full length to upper body shots and for side lighting business shots too. In fact, you can use it in a number of ways that can give great results, although I don't use it that often as it's a flatter light than I like for beauty or fashion work. But what if your budget was really tight? Well, I've got some good news. Having recently tested a large amount of modifiers for a new tool we're creating, I also tested an independent brand modifier that cost less than 50 pounds. And it gave great results comparable to that of the Octobox 150, but it's even easier to transport. It was this, a 160 centimeter deep white reflective umbrella. Being big, it gave a great soft light but having the ability to use it bare bulb or with a more concentrated reflector meant I could get a little more out of it than just a softbox. For example, by pulling it into a very close position to the light source, we are reducing the reflective area and creating a slightly harder light. By doing that bare bulb, we're getting a mix or by using it further out, we're getting the softest light possible, which was equivalent to using an Octobox 150. Let's take a look at some of the results of it in action. So even with the lamp head quite into the umbrella, because it's now bare bulb, the outer edges are illuminated because the light can get out sideways from the flash 
lamp head to this area, but that will result in more spill around the studio as well. So I'm just adjusting exposure to get the same measurement of exposure on her skin for every shot, so they're an equal comparison. Now that's interesting because even though we're now bare bulb and you'd expect more spread, we have got more spread and a softer light, but it is staying concentrated on Stephanie compared to when it was in on the reflector close in. So it's actually a much more pleasing light, I would say, without the reflector. I'm gonna lose some power of light here, so knock it up three tenths. So the Octa 150 is the image on the left. So we'll see which one comes the closest. 313 is pretty close in the bare bulb position. 309, similar. Now it is a slightly different look. 304, not quite as concentrated highlights on 304, which was the soft position with the reflector. 309 is fairly similar, slight color difference. There's a little bit more contrast on the Octabox, but that is likely because the Octa 150 is slightly smaller in area than the 160 umbrella, which obviously has a greater surface area. So we have a little bit more, slightly more punch and bite on the Octabox than the 160. And interestingly, even with the reflector and the umbrella in close to that, there's still a little bit more bite you can see in the shadow from the Octabox. So the Octabox is most comparable to the 160 umbrella with the reflector on in the closer position. And that's fairly much down to the physics because the 150 Octabox is smaller. So we had to get the umbrella light a little bit smaller to look very similar. But the results are really good with both. But the great thing is that the 160 centimeter umbrella is much less expensive. It only comes in at around 50 bucks. So in these results, you'll see that it gives a very similar light to the Octabox 150 when used for beauty headshots. And in full length shots, it also gives very similar results. On Stiffany, you can see it here in the soft position, but then you can see the change in light achievable by using a reflector on the light source. And then pulling the umbrella in closer creating a harder patch of light inside at the center of the umbrella, providing an alternative result. Setting it up is very straightforward, and you can use it on a standard lighting stand or even a boom arm. But of course, you need to have the ceiling height to use it. On the downside, its overall size is not quite as compact as an Octabox 150, which means using it for side lighting, you'd need a little more space. But if you were to ask me again, what would your choice of modifier be for under 50 pounds, then I'd say it has to be this, the 160 centimeter deep white reflective umbrella. I hope you found this useful. Thanks very much for watching. Get my completely free photography course with no sign up required. You can also access our free 90 page ebook. Just click the link or go to carltaylereducation.com.